Hello, hello, Biohack here, ready for another Live Arena video. We've got, let's see, not going to do a free, re like, full rebuild on a bunch of stuff today, but since we spent so much time on that yesterday, I, yeah, I think I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm still working on farming some more dust so we can improve the Alika build. I've been leveling up some gear. Like I realized yesterday, I used uh, Fatalis in a fight and I didn't even have like his amulet fully ranked up. So he's in a little bit better, but he needs a lot of work in terms of um, ascensions and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, other than that, getting ready to finish Chris City. I've got to level up the last few champions I need to do stage 20 or stage 19 rather, and then I think we should be fine. I've got these three at 57, so hopefully that'll happen the next day or two and we can get this done while the free regear event is still on. And yeah, all in all, I mean, this has been a relatively light regear event compared to some of the others since I haven't been do doing quite as much. Uh, what's up, everyone in chat? You were on the gaming live stream? Yeah, I was on the live stream. We just started recording the video. How much for your Google Excel sheet? I don't know. I have to think about it. HH Gaming, love your stream. Yeah. Uh, you mean Saf's stream? <laughs> All right, let's see. Do we get any of the Legos we want? No. We're looking for Sulfurion. We're looking for Fatalis, possibly Nishak. And but no luck. 2K, 5K? No. I need to I need to think about it. Um, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and just jump into the battles. Currently, we are ranked 55. I'm slipping, man. I'm slipping. Feels bad. What do we need for 54? Fade. Oh, this guy is a huge kraken, apparently, that cruson has been playing his account recently on his videos. Damn, this is, like, crazy how much of a gap there is. Like, there's 200 points to get back up to, like, Nesters and Red and some of these other people. Like, Viperana and I were, like, the same rank when I went on the trip, and now he's 200 points higher than me. It's brutal. But, all right, let's see if we can jump into this. I'm hoping my win rate starts to go up a lot once we get Marius and Carnage, because I do think they will help a lot, but we'll see. Okay, we've got Mint. player is not in the spreadsheet. Let's see what they run. Ooh, Crixia and Shuzen. All right, that's going to be interesting. We're going to grab... Or did I say Shuzen? I meant Crixia and Kage. So we'll assume that Armand's is going to get banned. That's the most likely scenario, which means we need to run probably Georgid. Potentially could run. My microphone feels weirdly positioned right now. We could also run maybe Staltus. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see what they run for the nucleus. But who need to counter? Taking their sweet time though. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, so we got an Encora and a Narcis. Probably just want to run. I think I want to run a Stone Skin Nuker. Who would be the best one? Probably Wukong. I don't use Wukong that much. But we'll use Wukong just because there's a th there's a potential threat of the Makage, like a stone skin Makage stunning me. Okay. That's uh, obnoxious, but I don't know how you're going to win with only one with no nuker. If it wasn't UDK, I might like opt to do something else. But in this scenario, I really feel like Um, 
What a weird pick. What was I saying? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of... Well, I don't know. I guess I could have banned the UDK. Whatever. I, I find it pretty hard to see how we lose this. Unless it's like a nuking UDK. Everyone's in stone skin, though. Um, let's go for a buff strip. Oh, bummer. So watch your live arena video where you built Shazar and Alika, and was wondering if you think Basher has a place in endgame arena like Alika. Not like Alika, no. You could replace a different lockout champion with Alika, or with Basher. You could replace like a Warlord or a Crixia with Basher, but Basher does not deal damage. Alika is not a... Like, Alika's not there for her lockout necessarily. She's a, she's a good nuker independent of lockout. This fight's going to be hella obnoxious, but I have a hard time imagining how he pulls off a win. Unless it's a nuking UDK, I mean, maybe, but... Oh, man, why couldn't you just be fucking normal? This fight is going to take forever. Oh, it okay, so it's a nuking Makage. Um, yeah, we'll get the Armons back up. People that play like this are fucking dicks. Oh, come on. That was really unfortunate. Oh, good. We still don't have his ability back, but at least he'll be ready once we revive. Do you have like one um He doesn't really have any healing, so that's kind of nice, but Maybe you will be able to kill me with this uh Mikage though. The CC is so annoying. Ugh. I should have just polyed the Mikage. I still wasn't sure it was a nuking Mikage when I had the Armons up. Ah, oh, we missed the block debuffs. It's kind of annoying. Oh shit, he might actually get me. Oh wait, never mind.
Monkey apparently wouldn't be able to nuke at all. Yeah. Well, it's the UDK. Oh, come on! We weak hit the Mikage? Can we just not get screwed on everything today? Jesus, man. Everything is going wrong. We're proccing every fear that he lands. We're, pro we're weak hitting. Like, god damn. The timing on that is brutal. Like, we literally got the revive. Or the block, um... The cleanse right after everyone took their turn, like just at all the RNG today is the worst it could possibly be. I don't think he has lockout. Oh, he got one more turn. Shit. There we go. Um, Armand's also has Did he just fucking Proc the the little oh wait Ancora must have reset him. Oh my god. I kinda should have healed on that last turn with um uh Kaja. Oh my god, I can't believe we lost that shit! That's wild. That's so annoying. Got so unlucky, though. So many super... bad RNG and, like, just misalignment of abilities. Like, even if that, like... the Armons didn't weak it... like... Feared in proc on the, uh, I forget which one it was. I think it was the Arbiter. If the Provoked didn't land, like, so many. Just bullshit. What are you, what can you do? RNG, man, it's a bitch. All right, we got Fred to Ant here, who's running... Taurus, Wukong, Narsi, Sippy, Warlord, Marichka, Armands, and Korra, Makage. He has a history of banning my Crixia over, or my Georgette over my Crixia. Let's see how this goes. Um, I think I want to run Nishak and ban the Marichka. Shows how OP Mikage. Shows up how actually Mikage is good. Hmm? Mikage is really good. Really like to strip the um, Armands. Didn't happen. Uh, we're probably not gonna be able to get a kill here. Which oh, we did chunk the Taurus pretty well. Let's see what options do we have? I'm trying to. Get a revive that's not going to immediately get 
my uh, my nuker killed. It's rough when there's two tanky nukers like this. Nice. Okay, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to do it. He's gonna kill him, but then. I think we're okay. Because then Arbiter can revive. Everyone's low on turn meter, so we can just do this. We can do this. Um, We can reset. That'll give Kaja the turn meter, which will make sure that we get... Georgid before... Narcis. We're going to A2 right here because I don't want to deal with... Oh, okay. That was fine. I was like, I wanted to get the unkillable so that we couldn't die to the Narcis. And I was a little worried with the Narcis having um, Word of the Fallen to try and A3 him. I guess I could have done the Ancora. But... I, don't know. I figured I would definitely kill the Taurus and get the unkillable, so that was the safest. Has not enhancing market in BDO? Terrible. Okay, we got handy. Handy runs, Narcis, Tormund, Harima, Alaz, Ava, Geralt, Siegfried, uh, Georgian. Alaz is here twice. Let's fix that. Uh, and then on support side, he runs Armands and Stoneskin, and Korra, Sifi, Marichka, Warlord, Kaimar, in a Stoneskin and Resistance, and Mikage, Arbiter, Mithrala. Okay, so he's already picked his two of his, or he's already picked all of his, not all, he's picked two of his supports, which means we can run this. What blessings do you have on Kaja? I have mine in Temporal Chains. Is that good? I run mine in Life Harvest. Temporal Chains is fine uh, if your goal is to like cut in on the enemy, but... Um... She... Or, yeah, she... I don't know, like... She's not the best cut-in champion, right? Like... I guess you can. You can like turn meter, double turn meter boost, and then try and get your nuker to go first. But I, I would prefer like temporal chains on a Yumiko or a Warlord or a Crixia or an Armands or someone who basically can go after their turn meter booster goes and lock out the team or shut the team down in some other capacity. Goodbye. Bombs, man. Bombs are where it's at today. I don't know why he went with UDK. That was a weird pick. UDK Georgian. That's so vulnerable. Hurryon. This player is not in my spreadsheet. You could maybe go for um, Intimidating Presence. If you're using her like in a go first comp like as a speed booster which is i think what you want to do like you want to use kaja like you would use the speed siffy basically to turn meter boost and be a backup reviver or just a reviver in general do you still have run bombs if you had gizmac uh probably not no i mean i'm sure there would be some scenarios like sometimes i run double bombs like that fight against handy i ran double bombs because i knew i needed like he, I didn't want him to ban one of my bombers and leave me in a, in a bad position. 
Okay, so we've got Marichko, we've got Taurus, we've got Siffy. Um, I think we want to run Ronda Narcis. Ideally, I'd like to ban the Galathir. <sighs> this is tough. Oh, and he goes with Lazarius. Freaking A, dude. Well, there's a few ways we could play this. I basically have to 50-50 shot the um the buff strip on the Lazarius. Yeah, if I had known he was gonna run a Lazarius at the end, I would have run Georgia instead. That last pick Lazarius is kind of brutal. Oh, and the Taurus is in stone skin. That sucks. Oh, we got Polly. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a loss in the pick stage. Demigod. Runs Wukong, Harima, Tormund, Siegfried, Baron, Siffy, Armands, Frixia. What's up, Italian heathen? How am I doing? I'm doing well. Doing well. This player likes to ban my Kaja over my Crixia or over my... Um... Oh, shit. Oh, wait. We knew we had Siegfried. It's a reaction Siegfried, too. Um... I think the play is probably to do this. Big question is, is it going to ban the Kaja or the Armands? This is this fight's going to come down to who bans who. Probably. Baron and Stoneskin. Yes, it is. <sighs> Tormund's not. Hmm, okay, he did. How the fight's going? Fights are good. So far, so good. So the way we want to play this is take out the Baron, take out the Sippy, take out the Tormund. Sorry, Crixia, but you're not going to do it by yourself. How do we do in the first set? Three out of five. Can't complain. Can't complain. That was insane. <laughs> Gotta love it when a plan comes together. Okay, we got Yammer. And we're first picking. Yammer runs. Wukong, Tormund, Alil, Geral, Mezumel, Georgid, Rhonda, Eric, Sifi, Yumiko, Shuzen, Armands, and Marichka in bolster. 
Um, we also know that he likes to ban the Kaja when he runs Tormund. The biggest threat on this team is... Honestly... No one. Drop this for now. He doesn't have anyone, like, super scary. There's no Siegfried, there's no Lazarius. None of his champions are in stone skin, as far as I'm aware. I probably just ban the Tormund. The Wukong, the Wukong could be a problem. Actually, you know what? I'm going to ban the shoes in. Ah, uh, well, uh, do, 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 do. This. No, I'm going to ban the Tormund. We're going to do, we're going to do this. We, this is a, this is a fight we need Xena for. Um. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I should have run Roto Silver. Well, no, because then he could run UDK, and that would put me in a weird position. We're going to ban... We're going to ban Shoes then. Oh, Hegemon. I'm still going to ban Shoes then. Okay, he bans the Kaja. It's fine. We'll see how hard this Hegemon hits. He can't sleep the Crixia, and he can't... He probably can't lock it out with Hegemon or freeze it with Tormund, given how high her resistance is. So, I'm pretty sure we get lockout, which means the um, Mesomel can't hit through the Stone Skin. It's just whether or not this this Hegemon hits uh, nukes hard enough to kill me. Oh wow! Okay, he didn't. Um, okay, we want to get a turn meter pushback on the Mesomel here. It's our highest priority. Yeah. She can't turn meter boost, or um, Xena will kill her. Which means that I'm going to get my Xena to go before Mesomel, which is the main thing. And Narcissus is going to go before Mesomel, too. Wrong play, my friend. Wrong play. How much res your Crixia got? Uh, about 500? So it must be a... Oh, wow. A Tormund smacks. Doesn't do him any good, but he smacks. I guess to be fair, Xena's hella squishy and Crixia is not exactly a tanky either. I need to um, dust my Crixia. How's your Xena built? Slow, stone skin, lots of damage. I haven't used Xena in a fight in a while, but she was the perfect champion for that. Oh, what was that player's name? Yamers. Uh, he's never brought out a Hegemon against me before. The support Hegemon, though. Didn't, didn't really do any damage. Cyclo Benzene is pretty stacked. He's got um, Siegfried, Harima, Arbiter, Kaja, Crixia. I think. Oh, I wish I had Carnage so bad for this fight. I need a good nuker with the Speed Aura. Oh, we can use um, we can use Shazar actually. If we have to. You only use her for Sippy? Pretty much, yeah. 
pretty much only use her to um make sure Siffy's can't turn meter boost. That's well, okay, that's not entirely true. If I need a slow stone skin AoE nuker, she can do that job. In I mean Narcis is my go-to for that, like a stone skin AoE nuker. Um, okay. I'm gonna go Kaja Narcis. My notes don't say anything about this Siegfried being in stone skin. This guy's got a lot of blessings, a lot of polymorph. your spreadsheet use a drop down list no in this fight we're not going to we're gonna run Georgian Oh shoot, I just realized I left Siegfried and Marichka in the team at the same time. Okay. That's kind of good because I need that lockout. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting to kill the Marichka right there. Damn! Alright. That's fine. You should take out the Arbiter right here. Actually, it doesn't matter. We Crixia reset the Georgid. Oh, he doesn't even take it out. Okay, so hopefully we can strip the... Yeah, we do. Perfect. So we reset here. Hopefully he doesn't lock out the Georgid. Of course he does, because he's Armands, he's broken as shit. Doesn't matter though, you've reset the wrong ability, so we just gotta do this. Oh, I don't know why I, I was thinking there was a... I was thinking there was a seek friend in the team still, <laughs> so I didn't AoE. Alright, Fade's account is super stacked. Um... He's got Gizmak, Siegfried, Taurus, Lazarius, Narcis. Uh, Armand's Galathir, Siffy, and Cora, Marichka, Crixia, and Arbias. In Crixia's in Stone Skin, Arbias is in Stone Skin, Armand's is in Stone Skin. Um, what are our options?
Really depends on whether he picks Marichka here or not. Hmm? Oh, did it arrive? Oh, hell yeah. My monitor just got... I didn't even get a notification. Um, okay, so he did use the Marichka. Siegfried's not in stone skin. Oh, shoot. I just threw it. Uh, damn it. Because the, the Armands is in stone skin. Uh, look, what can we do? Oh, okay. Interesting. Left the Crixie in. Makes sense. I should have... I needed to go uh, Shazar and ban... Or I need to go Nishak, probably. Ah, no, Shazar. And ban... Um, let me get a strip. No strip. Yeah, it's game. Actually, okay, I shouldn't say that. There is a world where Narcy's one-shots everyone, which nurse the... Oh, I needed to kill the Armands, too, I think. Um, I need to kill the Armands, but not the Marichka. Because, uh, um, Lazarius does more damage based on how many allies are in on his team. So if I'd been able to take out, like, two of them, I might have been able to tank it. But yeah, I shouldn't have gone Narcis. Although, to be fair, I mean, given how stacked that account is... Oh, come on, dude. Fuck off. Fuck the swipers. Um, given how stacked this account is... There's there's not a lot I can really do because I don't think well yeah the Galathir's just gonna freaking cleanse it and then the Siegfried's gonna kill me interesting choice to go with the Narcis and the Ankhora. Part of me is a little bit tempted just to ban the Narcis here. Let's try it, see how this goes. We need to get... We need to get either like a weak hit on the Crixia or we need to get like some protected block debuffs on the nukers. She's gonna throw the stone skin, which is obnox obnoxious, but not the end of the world.
counterattack is freaking annoying though. Uh, we didn't lock him out. Must have weak hit. God, Siegfried is so broken. But so is freaking Galathir. Huh. I needed what what really happened, or really what the problem was, was there is that the Rondo wasn't fast enough to go before the Arbias. That's what we needed. Am I excited for Sovereign Weapons? Yeah. Still not coming out for like eight months, but. <sighs> we did well in the first half. This, this half feels rough. Well, it's just those fights against, you know. You know what I should have done? No, I picked first, so I couldn't go with bombs because he would. Bombs aren't going to work against the Galathir without the accuracy. I need, um. Need Marius. Thought they were coming out in August with the Soul Pouch. August in Korea, but we're not getting it. And Korea gets it. Um. Let's run double tanky nukers. Oh, shoot. I forgot the Narcissus in Stone Skin. That's okay. I was going to polymorph. After he banned the Crixia, I was going to polymorph it with Armands anyway. Hopefully, all my nukers go before uh, Mithrala. Come on, dude. Really? You gonna do me that dirty? Polymorph? He only had it on one champion, and it wasn't even 6-star. It was like a 14% chance, I think. Kinda doesn't matter as long as Staltus goes before... Um, Mithrala. What rank are you in raid? Oh, fuck me, dude. Okay. We do have one saving grace here, and that is that the Staltus can stun. Oh my god! He only has one polymorph! What the fuck? This is some horse shit, man. He has one polymorph with a 15% chance, and both of our nukers procced it. Um, it's just buff strip. Can I get some breaks? Okay, there we go. Um, save that. Should only have her A1 here, I think. Armands will go first. I was gonna say, please don't weak hit. Thought there was supposed to be a one turn cooldown on Polly? There is. It took its turn in between my two nukers. The Mikage did. Oh, shh. Thought I had that back. Okay, at least we can get this. What's our play here? God, we just got so screwed in this fight due to Polymorph. Two 15% champ procs. 
And we didn't get any lockouts. And we're and the Nar well actually the Narcis might be locked out still. We'll have to see. If he had his A3. No, he doesn't. She should go for the Saltus. Okay. Fine. Alright, Saltus. Um Let's see if we can take out this Kage. Nope. Give me some stuns, buddy. Yes. Thank you. Okay, we, we lost. Uh, we got petrified. There we go. Thank you. The problem with um, Mithrala is, yes, she can cleanse, but she can't block debuffs, which means we can just keep throwing out these stuns. Like, every champion on my team other than Kaja can stun. <laughs> Ugh, that was, that was brutal RNG, but... Oh, actually, dude, I don't know why I felt so bad today. We did really well. We won one, two, three, four, five, six out of ten. I guess it was just these back-to-back -back fights that felt really hopeless that made me feel bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Can't complain. Still rank 55, but at least we're 7,200. Wait, what did I start with today? Must have been like 70, 80 or something. Oh, such a grind, man. Just to get back to top 50 is 180 points. How did this happen in a week? Wild. All right, that's going to be it for the YouTube recording. I'm going to keep doing some more fights on the live stream, but I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.